Hello, Pro and Cha again. So in the previous video we talked about the limit definition. So if you're uncertain what that is, you might want to rewatch that video. So right now, we're going to quickly go over what this smiley face rule is, and then we're going to look at a few examples of the limit definition of a derivative. So the smiley face rule is just an informal thing to keep in mind when you're confused. For example, if someone says, f of x is x squared, quickly, what's f of y? Uh, isn't y equal to x squared? No. So, whenever you have a problem like this, the answer is y squared. Here, it doesn't matter whether you use x or y or whatever, you just have to look at the original function. So here, f of x plus h will be x plus h squared like that. Notice that the parentheses are important. Practice safe mathematics. Always use parentheses. So, as you can see, this is different. This f of x plus h is different from this. This is actually f of x plus h like that. Notice because f of x is x squared. So f of smiley face in this context is simply smiley face squared. OK? Now let's look at a few examples. Let's say we have to prove that the derivative of this guy is this guy, using the limit definition of a derivative. Well, we know that the limit definition was f of x plus h minus f of x over h. As h goes to 0, so using that in this context, what is f of x plus h? Remember, just plug in x plus h everywhere you see an x. So that will be x plus h squared plus 3 x plus h plus 2 minus, well, x squared minus 3x minus 2. Notice how I distributed out the negative sign? This divided by h. Writing out the limit everywhere is important. A lot of professors take off points for not writing the limit. So, looking back at this, the next step is your favorite f word, foiling x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, that's what this guy turned out to be, plus 3x plus 3h, that's clearly what this turns out to be, plus 2 minus x squared minus 3x minus 2. So a lot of this, as you can see, don't make mistakes uh, while copying down what the previous step. It's really easy to do that, so make sure you don't do that. And now a lot of things will cancel. This x squared cancels with this. This 3x cancels with this. The 2 cancels over here. And now we can take the h out in common. So this now becomes 2x plus 3 plus h. And this, of course, is the limit as h goes to 0. Now as we can see, we can cancel out the h's and we can plug in 0 in for h and we can get that the derivative is 2x plus 3, which is what we wanted it to be. And now finally, you might have exam problems that ask you simply to set up the derivative. These are really easy, but they look difficult. I mean, look how nasty this guy looks. Find the derivative of that. No, well look at the question. It's just set up the derivative. So don't make these more complicated than they are. All you have to do is plug uh, them into this equation. So if this is f of x, what's f of x plus h? Just use x plus h instead of x. So this will simply be sine of tan of log of x plus h minus the original function, which is just sine of tan of log of x over h. And this is all you're going to have to do. Don't forget to write out the limit. So as you can see, these example problems are not too hard. So look over this video again if you need to. And remember, calculus is fun.